I knew I was looking for something to help me because I felt I'd come to a standstill. It's very sociable. Well, it's just fun to come to. It has helped and my knee don't hurt so much. I was okay, but I started to feel that climbing steps was a bit difficult for me. And I think it did help quite a lot because now I look at steps and I have no fear of them. I think if I didn't have the exercises, I wouldn't be so mobile as I am. I'm very grateful to Steve because he did say to me that the, when we first started talking about this shoulder business that it would be much better to exercise it better than to go in for surgery, which is what the medical people wanted. And my shoulder feels a lot stronger and much less painful. And I've told the surgeon that I don't want to go ahead with the surgery and why. And he said he thought it was an eminently sensible decision. So, one up for exercise, Steve. <laughs> So we're going to go into a hill dig with a bicep curl, just tap in the hill in front, little bend in your knees. And the format changes from week to week, but all focusing around whole body movements, balance and cardiovascular work, um, just to try and give them a, a good variety of an exercise session. Uh, we normally start off with a warm up, then we go into the main section and then finish off with some stretching. Uh, and we then finish off with a cup of tea and a, a bit of cake. The ones the group are most challenged with are balance based work, so standing on one leg or walking in like a tightrope format. However, they have improved massively since we first started. Things like sit to stands as well, so getting out of a functional movement pattern like from a chair. That's normally quite difficult for them, but as you can see today, they've progressed quite, quite a long way. Overall, I think as a group, they've massively improved over the, the year that they've done it. I have arthritis in my knees, and when I left work two years ago, I was walking with a stick in the wintertime. Now I don't do that. I carry a folding stick for emergencies, but most of the time I walk unaided. My general physical uh, situation, that has all improved, um, which enables me to do what I'm doing and continue doing it. I had um, rheumatoid arthritis, and um, I think the exercises help and keep me going. My kids all say, go for it, mother, you know keep going <laughs> so yeah i think it's very helpful i just wanted to know at my age what i i can do when you are at the age of like of over 70s what you can really do so i started to exercise walk first and then exercise and then i found it easy to run it's helped my balance a lot to what it was and i just enjoy coming and having a chat but it's social too <laughs> I look forward to it every week. I'm 88 years of age just, and um, this has made a huge difference in my life. It's very hard to find the reason for it. I think it's the social thing, the feeling of being part of a group. We soon made friends amongst each other, and I think we've become quite close in our friendships now. It does feel good to have somewhere to go, meet people they've got to know quite well and have a good laugh. It all helps towards good health, I think. Hopefully I can, you know, carry on walking, dancing and all those sort of things. I'm convinced that if I don't keep going, I'll go backwards and I don't want that to happen. I think the aim of all of us is to keep us healthy and mobile as we can. And uh, we're doing it in, in such a nice way. And you'll continue coming to these sessions? Oh, it's for as long as they last and as long as I last. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to be as I was then. I recognise that fact. But I'm jolly well going to be as fit as I can be. <laughs>